Welcome back. This section of the show is called Ask FPA. You can send your medical questions to TV at FPALex.com and include your name if you would like for us to use it on the air. Tonight's question is, can diabetes cause blindness? Asked by Bill Harrison in Lexington, Kentucky. And here to help me answer that question is Dr. Angela Thompson, Bluegrass Retinal Consultants, right? Yes. All right. Now, I, I started out diabetes. All diabetics really need to see their doctor regardless, eye doctor regardless, once a year because why? Because a lot of times we can help you before you experience any vision loss. Getting back to Mr. Harrison's question, diabetes can cause blindness, but our goal, of course, is to keep every patient seeing well all of their lives. And if we can detect early symptoms and signs of diabetes, in the eye before it causes extreme vascular damage, then there's a really strong likelihood that a patient can maintain their good vision, enabling them to be independent all of their lives because we want you to be able to drive and to read and do activities that are important to you forever. So a yearly eye exam is really critical for a diabetic because frequently, even before you know that you are having eye disease, we can find a problem and then prevent that from progressing. And we've got a picture of the eye up here. You, the, the vision comes in here, goes to the back of the eye, which is the retina. Exactly. That's where you do your work. Yes, I do. And you've got a machine that can actually look at the retina. We do. Okay, what's that look like? So um, this is a healthy, normal retina and this is a painless exam that we can do and it enables us to take a photograph of the back of the eye so in addition to doing a thorough medical history and exam like Dr. Shi talked about we can also use um, photography and even angiography to look at vascular flow in the back of the eye so what we see here is the normal healthy optic nerve the entire retina and then the center of vision right there called the macula All right now when diabetics have problems, it doesn't look like that anymore. It does not. Tell me about that one. So this is a really extreme case of diabetic retinopathy that needs very rapid intervention because this person is at very high risk of blindness and is probably experiencing some symptoms of vision loss and floaters or cobwebs in the vision. So we can see the optic nerve is there and the center of vision is there and partly obscured by these large areas of hemorrhage that are in front of the retina there. There are abnormal blood vessels that have grown there, here, and a lot of blot hemorrhages in the back of this eye. And those are related to areas of blood flow that have just dropped away, very similar to um, areas in any other part of your body that weren't getting good blood flow, that tissue cannot sustain itself anymore, so it is becoming non-functional. So with all these disease things going on, the retina is not working right, you have the visual disturbance, but you can do things either preemptively or at the time. Tell me what yes. you do. So even in this case, things are not hopeless. This is a case where we can rapidly intervene and offer a lot of visual salvage for this person. So uh, a lot of times we're going to start with laser to uh, try to reverse the amount of vascular damage there. We can also use intravitreal injections and those can be delivered fairly painlessly and can achieve rapid regression of diabetic retinopathy. And then the laser will also help to have long-term stability of the diabetic eye disease. So seeing your doctor can hopefully help prevent some of this and treat it if necessary early. Absolutely. All right, now this is macular degeneration yes. and that just happens in old people? Well, it is the leading cause of vision loss in people over age 60. People who are younger can have macular degeneration, but it's certainly not as common. It typically is an age-related disease and in macular degeneration, again, the symptoms can be very gradual and very slow onset. And that's also why it's important for people to see their eye doctor once a year, even if you're not diabetic, even if you're fairly healthy, because macular degeneration happens in healthy people. And there are also interventions that can help prevent vision loss in people with macular degeneration. All right, one last thing quickly, retinal detachment. That happens in more young people or just anybody? Happens more frequently as we get older, but there are some people who are more at risk, people who are highly nearsighted, 
People who've undergone any kind of surgery within the eye, such as cataract surgery, have some increased risk of retinal detachment. And then as we age, the vitreous jelly that would be here starts to liquefy. And as that jelly liquefies, it'll lift off and pull away from the back of the eye, and that can pull a tear. And then fluid dissects through that tear and pushes the retina off the back of the eye. And that typically is a very sudden onset of symptoms of a curtain coming into the vision very quickly or significant severe vision loss. Well, that's great information. Thanks. Appreciate coming in. Thank you. And if you have vision troubles, see your ophthalmologist.